Welcome to card game number one. This is called Pyramid 10 and uses um, cards to make pairs of 10 to beat your pyramid and get down as far as you can. Okay, so you'll need a pack of cards for this game. Okay, so to get started with this game, you need to remove all of the picture cards from your deck your jacks, your kings, your queens and any jokers because you don't want them as part of this game. Okay, so take all of those out and <clears throat> put them to one side. Okay, and then you're going to set up a um, pyramid of six levels um, starting at the top. And you turn them over and you overlap them, okay, which is really important because when you're removing cards later they will allow you to get to cards underneath so they need to be overlapping so some are kind of half hidden okay you might want to do this along with me if you're playing so that's five rows and this is six Okay, now with the leftover cards, okay, leave them um, down there. And um, because you will use those as your draw pile. Okay, so the reason it's called Pyramid 10 is because you are looking for pairs that make 10. <clears throat> now you can just have single cards that make 10, for example, the 10, um, but you can't have more than two. Okay, so. For example, you could have um, six and four that make ten, but if you had um, a four, a four, and if that was a two, you couldn't use that one because that's three cards. Okay, so it can only be one or two cards that make ten. Okay, and you can only take the cards that are exposed, which means the cards that you can get to easily that are completely showing. Okay, so at the moment, the only cards that are completely showing are the bottom row okay because the other ones are tucked behind okay so what you do is you have a look at your first row and see if you can make 10 now i can very clearly see that i can make 10 because i have a 10 so you take that card out and you put it in the discard pile which is just a throwaway pile okay because you want to try and get rid of as many as you can and at the end when you can't go any further your score is how many cards you've got left. Okay, so I played this earlier and I think I had six cards left, so that would have been my score. So I'll see if I can beat it this time. Now, can you see another 10 that I could make with one or two cards? Yeah, so I could make 10 with six and four. Okay, now I've now revealed some other cards. Okay, so I could use this card. I could also use this card now and this card. Or this one or this one okay I can't use the ace the six or the five because they're still tucked behind okay and the ace is one in this game okay so that's your one okay can we make any other tens no so what you have to do now is you take from the draw pile and you have a look at your card okay now you see if that helps you make a match still doesn't help okay so that's going to be put over here as well in the discard pile let's have a look at another one. Oh, a five okay <clears throat> so a five can be put with the five to make ten so i can remove both of those okay and keep going so a two no can't do anything with that one because there's no eight exposed an ace. No, not having much luck here at the moment. A nine. Now, if this ace over here was exposed, then I could have matched that, but it's not, so I can't. So that's another one I have to throw away. Oh dear. Oh, okay, so I've got a three this time. Now, three matches with the seven. Okay. Now, there's two sevens I could take. Um, if I take this seven, 
in the middle um, it wouldn't actually expose any other cards because the eight and the six would still be tucked behind the five and the four so I'm going to take this one because then it leaves the five open so there is um, a degree of chance in this game depending on your cards that you draw but also um, a bit of strategy and um, technique because you need to think about which would be the best cards to um, to uncover okay so let's just have a look so I've got a five a seven a four and a four and I can't make ten with with any of those so I'm going to draw two no nine no two again no eight now it doesn't make much of a difference here but you can match cards which are in your discard pile um, and eight and two made ten but I'm going to be throwing it away anyway so that can go over there right three. Oh, this is a bit better okay so my three and my seven another three no six oh okay so I've got two fours that I could use here if I get rid of this four I would expose the six above if I get rid of this four I would expose the six and the ace so there's there's good bits about both choices there but because this is going to expose two I'm going to go for this one and then I can do another pair uh -huh. things are looking up a bit here I can take my 10 okay now what I really want to get to is this 5 and this 5 but I need to get rid of my ace first fingers crossed for a 9 soon There we go. It gives me my five and my five. Okay, I'm starting to get low on cards here now. Oh, that was a good one to end on. Okay, now I've got no more cards and I can't match um, to make ten on any of those, so that would be game over for me. So my score is the number of cards I've got left. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So I've got the same score as last time. So I drew with myself. Now you can either play this game <clears throat> against somebody um, and then they could have a go and see who gets the highest score. You could keep a tally of your scores on each round. Um, or you can play against yourself like I just did um, and see if you can beat your score each time. Okay, so have a little go at that game. And... Um, do send me an email to let me know how you got on. See if you can beat my score of six, which wasn't um, the best that I've seen done. So see if you can get down to just a few cards. Okay, enjoy playing.